Hello Winterborn, how are you? Jorvinelli am surprised you have even the dignity to speak to me you cur, after what happened to Daisy Miller. That was all your fault you know. I can't believe you would destroy her honor like that. A true gentleman would not have acted the way you did. Going to her hotel late at night, being around her all the time. You have to know people were talking about you and her. Didn't you think that people would get angry? Didn't you understand that something could have happened and now look. She is dead, all because she went out with you late at night and caught the fever. I was infatuated with her. I really did love her. I wanted to marry her but she was a rich woman and I. Well, I am just an Italian with almost nothing to my name. I couldn't ask for her hand in marriage. She would cry and cling to me every time I tried to leave. She really was very lonely. Then maybe you should have stepped out of the picture and let someone who could have made her happier be a part of her life. You mean yourself? Well, not necessarily me. But I think that I would have been exponentially better for Miss Daisy Miller than you, sir. She was a scared little girl at heart, sir, and I only wanted the best for her. Well, she is dead now. That was most certainly not what is best for her. I protected her and stood by her side when people were talking about her. When everyone, including you, turned their backs on her, I was there. I didn't think she would get sick. I feel horrible. I blame myself for her death, Mr. Winterborn. Every day I know it was my fault. Did she ever mention me? Only once, she said that you had completely changed since you arrived here. She was very sad that she had lost you as a good friend.